Ça va? <coughs> so today is a very happy and a very, very auspicious day for all of us. That we have to offer a, just a thread to our brothers for their protection. I have already told you the story of Alexander the Great. How many of you have not heard it? Raise your hands. Look at that. <laughs> Can't be. All right. So I will tell you the story of Alexander. <laughs> you are very clever, I know. <laughs> All right. So, the story of Alexander is like this, that Alexander the Great invaded India, you know, much before Buddha was born, or we can say, no, uh, we can say after Buddha was born. And he went with the idea of conquering the whole of India. He was a very powerful man. But God did, did not want that, perhaps, so he was once defeated and one king called Puru arrested him. Alexander had married an Indian lady and when he was under the arrest of this king, that was the day of this Raksha Bandhan, the same day. So she was a clever lady, she put one thread like this in a small little plate and covered it nicely with some nice cloth and sent it to the king Puru in his court. When he took it to the court, uh, somebody, and gave it to him, he had to wear it because that was the day of Raksha Bandhan and that day anybody who sends you this thread, is, you become the brother. So then he asked, who is my sister? So they said, she is the wife of Alexander. And he got really upset with it because a sister's husband is something very great in India. So he rushed to the jail and he fell straight on his knees and begged of his pardon. He said, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't know you were the husband of my sister. He said, what? Yeah, you are. And I'm sorry, I'm very sorry for this thing that I have chained you this way and put you here in, in, behind the bars. This was very wrong on my part. And he was so apologetic that Alexander could not understand the whole thing. Not only that, he brought him back and put him on the throne his own throne, and he said, now you rule here, I cannot say anything. Now you have become the real king and I have to become sort of your subject. So Alexander started looking at him. He said, I, I can't understand this. So then he went to his house. Then he went to his house with uh, so many things that the king had given him. He gave jewellery, he gave saris, clothes for him and all kinds of things, plus horses and elephants. And then when he reached home, he found that his wife was smiling behind the doors. He said, what's the matter? He said, don't you understand? He said, no, I don't understand, these Indians are funny people. <laughs> I mean, I am such a dangerous man, he had put me in the jail and now he has released me. I just can't understand these Indians. How can this happen to a person who is so dangerous? So then she smiled and she said, see, today is the day of Raksha Bandha and this is the thread I sent him. And because this thread was tied to him, he became my brother and he had to release you because you are my brother. He was so frightened he said, that settles it, I'm going home. <laughs> because with these Indians who can leave a prisoner only on a thread, you can't manage these people up, very difficult, he could not understand. 
uh, somebody can translate it in, in uh, Italian because there are some Italian people here. Uh, in a sh you can do it later on. The story can be told to them uh, in Italian language. So this is what it is. It's so important that on this day, if this is tied on your wrist, then you become brothers and sisters. Now in Sahaja Yoga, brotherhood is the most important thing. That is the friendliness among ourselves. When you are very good brothers and sisters, first of all you are left with Shuddhi, this left with Shuddhi. You get this left with Shuddhi because we don't have proper brother and sister relationship. It's not that we should have our own sister, but any woman who is a Sahaja Yogini is your sister, except for your own wife. And this is the feeling, unless and until we develop that pure feeling within ourselves, you cannot work out Sahaja Yoga. Sahaja Yoga cannot be worked out. I know it's rather difficult to digest, but it's a fact. You have to feel clean and pure within your heart. Now see, we are so many Sahaja Yogis together, live in ashrams, we have no problems. But supposing if you had these problems, this girl is running away with that boy, that boy is running with that girl, you would not have known with whom she is living today. And those problems can only be solved if you have the proper sense of a sister and a brother. And that is our dharma, that is our valency, that we should know that we have a brother who is our Rakhi brother and all others are also our brothers. A pure relationship must exist between brothers and sisters and, of course, you have your own wife which is your private thing. There should be something like private in Sahaja Yoga and that is the only thing that is private for you, that you are husband and wife. The rest of it is all collective and we have to live in a collective way among ourselves in very pure relationships. Now as it is, we have to be in a collective being. At the slightest uh, provocation, people become non-collective. They cannot have rapport with other Sahaja Yogis, they cannot talk to other Sahaja Yogis, they cannot live with other Sahaja Yogis, then something wrong with them. They must understand something wrong with them and nothing wrong with others. I know of a Sahaja Yogi who came and told me, Mother, they are very unkind to me, they are very suspicious of me, they do this and do that. Nothing of the kind. It was his own mind that was working like that and giving him ideas against other Sahaja Yogis. So never criticize your brothers and sisters. There is no need to criticize. If you have to criticize, criticize yourself. Best way is to criticize yourself and see for yourself what's wrong with you that you cannot fit into the collective. As you know, it's a tremendous task and so important today, so vital that we all should establish Sahaja Yoga properly. Without Sahaja Yoga, do you see any, any other remedy, any other solution for today's chaos? We do not see. Now what do we have to do? I don't say you must bring Himalayas here, nor do I say that you must swim for seven miles together, nor do I so say that you must take a uh, plane which will take you round the world in one night, nothing of the kind. These feats are not needed. A simple feat of rapport, of love, being communicated to others. Just a simple thing it is. It's the simplest. You see the children, how they are so simple, how they are so natural, that they immediately feel the love and immediately react to it. But we cannot. The why, what is the reason? Why can't we react in that way? Why our attention is not on that point where we should react in such a manner that we should be absolutely congenial, enjoying each other's company. The reason is our attention is outside. 
and the attention is outside in the west as you have seen is on something wrong because there is no brother and sisterly feeling supposing a brother and sister are wa wa walking they won't look at each other will they will they be watching each other no but the attention that goes outside all the time towards all kinds of funny things because there's no pure relationship between them purity helps you to understand the beauty of a person otherwise there's thought in between always a thought if it's a dirty thought of course the purity is not there at all but even other thoughts like possessiveness of criticism say of repulsion anything like that can kill the joy so try to understand that there's something wrong with you that's why you cannot get to the collective we are one homogeneous big huge family and for any mother what is the greatest pleasure which i have told you many times is that to see her children enjoying each other loving each other and when i see all of you loving each other and pulling each other's legs and pinching everyone and enjoying each other's company i really enjoy it and when you shout at each other and also sometimes box each other i like it <laughs> because there's an expression of love in it and that is what we have to learn how to express ourselves first express yourself to your fellow being that are your kith and kin are such ways they are your brothers and they are your sisters like once christ was told your brother and sister have come she so said who are my brothers and who are my sisters these are his brothers and these are his sisters he is the eldest brother you have and you are all his brothers and sisters that is how one should understand that this is a relationship of brother and sister and that's such a pure relationship now when this relationship goes off you get into troubles
अबोध बना मुरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए मुरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए पे ब्रह्म सरस्वती निर्मल बीता जागृत करती स्वादिष्ठान पे ब्रह्म सरस्वती निर्मल बीता जागृत करती बिखर चित को बिखर चित को बिखर चित को एकत्रित करा मोरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए मोरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी मणिपुर जब वो आती धर्म और शांति स्थापित करती चक्र मणिपुर जब वो आती धर्म और शांति स्थापित करती चक्र मणिपुर जब वो आती धर्म और शांति स्थापित करती समाधानी समाधानी हमें वो बनाए मुरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए मुरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए चक्रनाहत तक पहुँचाने चक्र अनाहत तक पहुँचाने भव ये पार कराए कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए मुरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए जब चक्र अनाहत भय भी तो को देती राहत आ पहुंची जब चक्र अनाहत भय भी तो को देती राहत आत्मा राम आत्मा राम प्रकाशित कराए मोरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए मोरी निर्मला माता चढ़ी बड़ी जाए कुंडली चढ़ी बड़ी जाए जाए निर्मला माँ कुंडली चढ़ी बड़ी जाए कुंडली चढ़ी बड़ी जाए निर्मला माता कुंडली चढ़ी बड़ी जाए निर्मला माता कुंडली चढ़ी बड़ी जाए चक्र विशुद्धि पर जब आती 
जाती राधा किशन संग रास रचाती राधा किशन संग रास रचाती चक्र विष्णु भी पर जब आती राधा किशन संग रास रचाती सामूहिक चेतना सामूहिक चेतना सामूहिक चेतना को जगा मोरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए मोरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए सहज ही मोक्ष सहज ही मोक्ष सहज ही मोक्ष हमको दिला मोरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए मोरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए सहस्त्रार स्वामिनी सहस्त्रार स्वामिनी मोक्ष प्रदायिनी सहस्त्रार स्वामिनी मोक्ष प्रदायिनी महामाया कहलाए कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए मोरी निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए निर्मला माता कुंडलिनी चढ़ी बड़ी जाए मोरी निर्मला माता साक्षात श्री सर्वचक्र स्वामिनी साक्षात श्री आदिशक्ति माता मला 